So are you able to see the screen? Yes. Uh, so this is uh, just threw it together for the meeting here. Thanks to the guys that helped us out with this at D-Tring. But um, all right, since there are fewer rigs drilling these days, are we drilling fewer wells? Um, so if you can see this, you've got basically 2015 onwards. We've broken the rig count, daily rig count down by basin. Uh, obviously, you can see the, the shale gale uh, come into effect in full full effect. And so you see the, the rig count, especially in the Delaware, uh, really just start to increase dramatically and then uh, come down, of course, as we've had these recent times in 2024. But if you think about that in relation to uh, efficiency, uh, so these are each graph, Delaware top left, all the way to Marcellus bottom right. We're looking at 2017 Ford, and we're just simply thinking about drilling foot per day. And if we normalize that out, how does that look across the different basins? Well, it looks like they become incredibly more efficient uh, between two-ish to three-ish times as efficient as in the past. So uh, do we ever need to have the number of rigs we had in the past drilling um, again, maybe, but I would suspect that it's less and less likely as we become more and more efficient. There is obviously a, a curve here that we don't see drilling efficiency going up into the right forever, but it's quite impressive what our, our drilling brethren have been able to accomplish in a very short amount of time. Um, efficiencies have been, and I think this is large in part to where we started with this discussion, which is data. Um, data analysis, how do we become more efficient with uh, the products we're using? Well, this is a, a great example of how that's, how that's transpired. Excellent. And so um, on data, how will data analysis help companies make better M&A decisions and optimize portfolio risks and returns? Josh. Yeah, um, yeah I think you talked about earlier, um, yeah, Amy mentioned as far as uh, the access to data. Um, and then I mean, whether it be technology, ERP platforms, uh, aggregating data more efficiently to one-off uh, solutions like uh, Power BI and, and Tableau be able to really access large amounts of data very quickly um, and a number of knowledgeable people out there. So I think ultimately with all that, um, certainly we should be able to make decisions faster and, uh, and, 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 and analyze deals, analyze a large number of deals um, faster. Um, you know, at the end of the day, I, there's one, one question, two things I would point out to is a lot of data, but still maybe not a lot of opportunities. Um, given where being commodity prices and, and, and the, the right price between willing buyer, will or seller, you know, having that data isn't necessarily making deals happen any faster due to other, um, other factors. As a result, one point I have is maybe sometimes is there too much data, right? So you, uh, especially when you're looking for, and historically in, a, in, a, in an environment where you're trying to make money fast, trying to flip, well, um, you know, you, you, you're making, you know, short term, you know, short term decisions with short term data, and every time that data changes over, I, I got new piece of information, so I got to, I got to, I got to, got to pivot. I'm going to hedge. I'm not going to hedge. I'm going to, you know, do other things versus really looking at backing up and look at the bigger picture. But given all the data that you have and all the experience that you have, hopefully, to make, you know, make long term decisions that you stick with. So I, I think data can work. It's, it's going overall, it's going to transform the industry for the better, but. And sometimes we'll be a little careful about having having too much at your disposal. Well, that's very interesting. And, and folks, just to remind you, we've got about uh, 10 minutes left on the panel. Um, approximately, you know, 10 minutes or so, we, we could jump to it a little bit earlier. We do want folks to uh, turn on their mics, turn on their cameras, and uh, address questions uh, directly to the audience. Don't want you to feel like you're, you're not in involved and included. Want this to be a, a lively and, and, and inclusive um, conversation, and so our our next question will be uh, directed to to Richard. With Barkin and Eagleford inventories not being infinite, where do you see future liquids weighted productions coming from? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, kind of hit on this earlier, but I mean, there's obviously there's obviously some great areas that are that are coming out right now. We've got the powder, which is sort of trying to reinvent itself in, in some ways. Um, <laughs> we've, we've seen, uh, we've seen the scoop merchant stack sort of have, have its issues over the years, but we're also seeing encouraging results coming out of that. And I think the industry sort of got the spacing number right now. We have a lot of internal discussions about this. Uh, where does the right number for, for spacing going forward? And uh, like I said, supported by rock properties, but then beyond that, what is, uh, what is the industry going to do to that? 
that area as far as uh, development or acceleration. Um, other areas you're going to continue to see in the Permian Basin, while we, we think about the Permian core as tier one core and that's the best inventory, there is no shortage of, of oil and gas to be found throughout the Permian. And as you see those prices increase, the liquids plays will probably just move to the margins of the play. Uh, we've, we've seen areas where you uh, have, have really great transactions, strong transactions uh, on the northeast shelf, the Permian Basin. Um, I expect to see that sort of transact across um, to the Central Basin platform. That will continue. There's a fantastic area with no liquids production that just is continually begging for the applications of technology. And so as far as liquids go, I think those are, those are great areas. Um, and then we've got a few more we're thinking about. 